M0 FXP. Big thanks to Echo Alpha 5 Delta Oscar Mike for providing me with the Maxicom Project 5C V8 that you can see on the left and the right. It's designed to work with the Yesu 817, 818, 857 and 897 and as you can see straight away it looks like the 705 it has three connections a six pin and eight pin cable and a ethernet connection it controls the yesu radios via cat connection and acc connection you don't need to take have a separate power supply for this because it gets its power from the acc cable now it does here what is not maxicom it is not a radio or a microwave transverter. It's not an external head that can replace the FT857 since it will not work under 100 megahertz. You can see the dimensions here and if I hold it, it's a good size, it's about the same size as my Icon 705 and it's light and you've got control, you know, controls here. Now we're going to do some close-ups here on this. This is just a very brief introduction to the product. You've got the QRZ page on the left with lots of information, links, also a, the download for the instructions and the kit assembly that you're seeing on the right hand side here. That's the uh, inside of the 817 by the looks of it. Scrolling up, lots of helpful information as well. Uh, there is, I don't think that's, that's not the same as the unit that I've got because it looks like a, um, a sort of a production test model that one does, doesn't it? But the installation instructions are here. It seems very straightforward. You've got the six pin and the eight pin cable, then the ethernet connection. The cables come within the kit, of course, to contact Louis, just use his QRZ page, send him an email and he can send you one of these. He will let you know what that costs. There's your functions of the pins and connectors for your data ACC and for the microphone. So I have got an Ethernet connector there, but it does say here connector mic, connector mic. So I'll learn I'm going to, I'm going to learn. You can see the the MH31 there and the back of the Yesu radio, which you power as normal. Now apparently when the Yesu radio is 817 is connected to your power supply, there is actually a live coming from one of the pins, uh, which is interesting, I didn't know that. Then you've got the options to connect to a transverter, which I have not got. On the back of the unit, I've noticed there is a tripod stand. I can see the GPS connector here and turning it around. And I'm gonna do a much better, clearer video on seeing this device, but you can see the different knobs. That we're playing with there my hand big hand in the way but don't worry there'll be lots of videos like i said this is literally just an introduction i i think that a lot of the buttons that you're seeing there are just shapes i don't feel like they are buttons because it's it's a it is a touch screen device you can see on the on the right hand side here of my video got the main screen have a look now audio spectrum scope band beacon, the main config selections. The main screen when starting up is the one for the 10 gigahertz band of three centimeters. Now remember the ICOM 905 is all about the SHF bands and that, well, you know what that costs. That's a, it costs a lot. The functions of the lower bar as well as the mode selector are activated directly by touch, touching the screen. The beacon option puts the device in transmission. The dial knob allows for fine tuning. There's just a config menu. So I've got a lot to learn here. But you know me, I like to dive in and I won't learn for a couple of days. I'll, I, I, when, I, when I get an item, I will be learning it for years, for years. And as the firmware updates come, I'll be doing videos teaching you how to, and teaching myself how to do that. We can select seven bands. The 144 and 432 bands do not need a transverter. That's handy. Um, um, so custom band can be configured for any transverter between 30 to 450 gigahertz. So gigahertz use in digital modes as a cable there. Operation and tools for portable activity. Calculation of the QTH locator. 
in portable by GPS. A lot, you can see a lot of work has gone into this. And this, for some people, this is exactly what they enjoy, you know. Um, for me, this will be a big learning curve. I, I do not operate on these bands, but I can see there we've got 2 meters 70, 23 sems, and then we start to go to these bands that I've pretty much never used, which is 13 sems, 6 sems, 3 sems. So it's micro bands, and it looks like, do you need a transverter for that? I'll find out. Calculation of course and distance to any locator. Audio water to identify weak signals. Roger beep, guide of beacon calibration. Sunspot memory update via the Wi-Fi. So it looks like you probably update this via Wi-Fi. Uh, for this device to connect to our Wi-Fi, it must know the SSDN password. Yeah, of course. Shown as network. So what is this interface program? Ah, it looks like we log into something. It's possible that it sends out a, you know, a, a Wi-Fi connection, like a bit like your Wi-Fi on your PC, and you connect to it, and then you can interact with the unit. Yeah, look, there it is there. FTP server, and then you're connecting there. Okay. Going on and on and on here. Yeah? So... Thanks for watching so far. It is just an introduction. I made a brief video on this before. And just quickly look at the QRZ page there. If you've already used one, let me know. In a 5 dom I mean, it takes, I think, it's, this is exactly what ham radio is about individuals and the email is there look ea5 louis at gmail.com if you're interested in one it's it came from benidorm spain so i'm pretty sure there'll be worldwide posts available it is an ex you know although it's quite advanced at the end of the day this is an experimental in my opinion see what louis says unit um I don't think the price is high. I think he's he has given me an indication of the price, and I don't think it's a high price uh, uh, for the fun and experimentation you can have with this unit. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now, 7-3. And thank you so much, Louis, EA5DOM.